friends, foes, and other watchers on the internet, my name is Matt, and you're watching Hogwash Gaming, and today we are going to be learning how to play golf. Not that golf. The card game golf. And, uh, just to make things authentic, I've got a hat, and I've got some clubs. Just like in the sport golf, the goal of the game is to have the least amount of points. Aces are worth one, twos are worth minus two, kings are worth zero, and jokers, if you're playing with them, are wild, and three through nine is face value, and jack, queen, and ten are ten. At the beginning of each round, each player is dealt six cards. Then the deck is put in the middle of the table, and a discard pile is started. The players then without looking at them, set their cards in a 3 by 2 pattern in front of them. At this point, they choose two cards to flip over. The concept of the game is quite simple. What you're trying to do is have the least amount of points in front of you at the end of the round. You do this by trading out large numbers for small numbers, or by making matches in the same column, which changes the value of both cards to zero. For example, this first round, I draw a card. It's a king. Now kings are worth zero, so I want to replace the nine with zero. You also can choose to replace cards that you haven't revealed yet, though this runs the risk of getting rid of good cards that you don't want the other player picking up. To avoid this, you may choose, instead of drawing, to reveal one of your cards. Play continues until somebody has revealed all of the cards in front of them. Once that happens, everybody flips over their cards and calculates how many points they have left. In this case, I had four points. My opponent had, uh, let me see, that's nine, and then 12, so that's 21 points. Ouch. After you record the points, shuffle up again and deal again. It's time for a new round, and with nine rounds, it gets pretty competitive. For longer games, try 18 rounds or more players. So that's the game Golf. Now, I think I should tell you that there are many, many variations of this game. And I chose the one that I learned first. If you play another way, that's fine. And if you want to learn those other ways, just look it up on the web. There are hundreds of variations. And I had to choose one. So until next time, this is Hogwash, over and out.